Hello there here, and today we're going to play... That time I got transported in a totally normal isekai, developed by Goblin Studio. So... Hmm. Interesting. Uh, okay, so... The main menu doesn't tell us anything about the game, but... But there's something going on. That's all I could say. Yeah, Goblins and Co. Very interesting. Uh, yeah, the game itself doesn't tell us about it, but the... Uh, what do you call it? The description of the game tell us about something when you don't know the game. So, let's start this totally normal isekai, shall we? Under the glow of a blue sun, I watch a bird I've never seen before perch on the branch of an unfamiliar tree. Yes, okay, can I click? I like passage, shoving my heels in worn boots that fit loosely on my feet. God, I hate walking. That's the main reason why I chose an office job in my previous life. Get a hold of yourself, any man walking is worth a completely fresh start in a new world. I remind myself, I'm literally living, in, living my dream, a fantasy reality that I've only seen glimpses of in my favorite anime and fan fictions. In this world, I've been going by the name of... Who are you? Ah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's go back, shall we? Okay, Rose. That sounds perfect. Ah yes, Rose. I've only been here a few days, but I'm already enjoying the lack of internet forum arguments and insensitive normies who make fun of people like me. What? what? <laughs> who are you? Well, what What did you do? Here, I re I'll reinvent myself as a new person and maybe even find a nice looking girl to bat. Oh, d damn, okay. <laughs> Alright, I, I see what kind of person you are. It's been a... it's... okay. Leah. What? Oh, wait. We are a different person. I thought we are you. Alright then. Leah, alright. It's been a while since we've started walking. Would you mind checking the map? Yeah? Speaking of which, Leah was the first person I met when I woke up. She was spoon-feeding me a mixture of herbs and water to help me regain my strength. If not for her healing magic, I would still be better than in town. Yeah, of course. Let's stop here for a moment. I reached in the back at my side and pulled out a roll of old parchment. Apparently, when Leia found me, I had nothing on me except for the paper clench on my face. She was the curious not to study it and spent hours going over its ancient language and landmarks. When I had enough strength to sit up, she explained that it looked like a map to a great treasure that was hidden only about two days' journey outside of town. While its proximity to people might mean it was already looted, the fact that it was nearby made it worth checking out, especially since I had not had not even a copper piece to my name. Wow, you're broke. We'll follow the road for another hour or so, and then we'll have to cross into the forest for a bit. They had asked to join me in the journey, citing her knowledge of surrounding area, ability to cast defensive and healing spells, and the first language she could translate. Okay, but why? Well, I greet her joining me for all these reasons. In reality, I was focused on her other attributes. Oh, okay, alright. Will this be the start of my dream harem? No, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure this will be the start of your endless pain and suffering. <laughs> yeah. Let me see the map. Oh, that was nice. Let me see the map. She moves closer and leaned over my shoulders. The warmer her skin smells like summer peaches. It looks like we turn into the woods right before we reach the fallen tree. She looks at me smiles. Wee. See, so aren't you glad I joined along? You've been really helpful. I could have done this without you. Mm, very interesting. Quick, quick, quick save. Quick save. A little, a little bit of quick save. Let's do the nice thing. I think. Definitely, you've been invaluable as a companion, Leah. Leah. Leah blushes and pulls her hood over her head. If if you really mean that, I guess. I do. Leah pulls her hood further over her face, but is unable to stifle a slight giggle. Come on, let's just go, get going. The sun's going to get set to set soon, and we might want to make good progress if we're going to get the treasure. Alright. Before we get up from our spot, we suddenly hear the rustling of the bushes nearby. Hello, new character? Oh, okay. <laughs> Why do they look so ugly? I hate them. <laughs> Actually, I love them. I, I kind of love their design. Alright. First thing Curry lifts up our Gabra Goblin, each arm with sinister looking weaponry. Pshing! Ah! One of them puts the point of spear at Leia's neck. Oh, that was fast, easy. Gobby, now what's this me hearing about a treasure? Hey, get, get away from her. The second goblin spear whips toward my face before I can reach for her. She can see 
me to list a pack of unshowered goblins. What? What's attractive about that? Uh, maybe the fact that you're not showering as well. I screw my shot trying to think. Yeah. Before I farm out my master plan, the goblin in front of me goes flying. What? Yeah. Bring one eye open, I take a peek at whatever the hell is going on. Stand oh, hello there, lady. Standing above me, a tall figure swinging great axe at the goblin, scattering them like pigeons. I mean, yeah, both the character design is... What do you call it? The... Yeah, the hot character type. The sexy character type. Get lost, you little freaks. Let's play it! Vamos! A better friend of goblin footsteps stays down and a stagger to my feet. God, this is embarrassing for you. The goblin is what take it, it takes to finish you off. I have my mouth to reply, but no sound come out. Must be the uh, adrenaline. Yeah. It's not like we didn't have it under control, Vanessa. Oh, wait, we knew you? Hell yeah. Whoa, whoa, Le Leia know this hot girl and she didn't tell me about it? Vanessa, huh? You two didn't know each other? Sure, I mean, someone has guarded the town while Leia re reads all the perverted books in the library. Hmm. Isn't that right, Leia? I... I don't read those things, it's just nice spending time with the spell books. And all those spells sure did help against the goblins, hmm. Better than staying up till 2 am drinking alcohol with the recruits. Now Leia tugging at my sleeve. Come on, we have to keep moving, or the treasure may be... Oh, the heroic treasure hunters, I love it. The treasure. As per usual, I feel a brilliant thought coming on. If we got this girl on our side, our chance of surviving this treasure hunt will triple. And it'll be half bad seeing her on cam. Hey, Vanessa. She cocks an eyebrow towards me, waiting. Hmm? Oh crap, it's way scarier when she's actually looking at me, but I have to go for it. <laughs> if you help us out, a third of the treasure could be yours. Please. Me. She snorts, looking me up and down. And why would I want to set up with you? Well, I assume you're looking for a challenge? Unless to go and see your idea of a big adventure, in this case be my guest and stay here where you nice and safe, hmm. She nurses her eyes at me and drums her finger on the handle of her great axe. Sure, I guess, I had nothing better to do, hmm. And Leia might wind up dead if I'm not there to keep an eye on things. Interesting. Wait, I'm not sure this is a good idea. I can think of two large reasons why it's a great- what? Huh? Why? Why would you say that? I can tell she's worth trusting. Trusting. There's two ending, by the way, so yeah. Alright, quick save. This one. <laughs> why? Why Why would you say that? Yeah, yeah, Vanessa, you're very valid. You, you, I would have already, like, what? Stare down the person, death stare, death glare the person, kill them. Uh, don't make me dirty my axe with our blood. What's the big deal? You have to gen gauntlet, so you'll definitely. You'll definitely be able to help us. Um, yeah, sure. But why? What did you? What did you think I meant? Vanessa's our slits. Nothing. Just then, get to cocky, you little prick. Come on, side. I'm still worried about this. Listen, don't worry. There, there will still be plenty of me to go around. You wish, Han. Uh, th that's not what I meant. Kidding, kidding. Of course, I totally wasn't. <laughs> hmm. I, I would love just to imagine that the, the main character is just a fucking giant fan, so... As the golden light face around the horizon, strange bird calls through the trees. By the time we wait, we make him, I feel Eggman's like stomach is gnawing at me. Still, at least there's land when it's a constant bickering for entertainment. I really think this camp set is exposed. Oh, please. What? Are you scared a human being wa will walk by and you'll have to talk to them? Uh, let me guess the twist of this special novel. Uh, the main character is the villain. I don't know. Come on, girls, chill. Don't you want a peaceful evening after all that walking? Vanessa snorts. Like, I'll get any piss around here. Her, if I were you, I'd stay away from the nerds. Vanessa starts over the center of camp to set a fire. Ah, uh, she's impossible. I don't get what you're thinking when you hire her. Let's time over to a nearby tree and takes out a book. It's clear that neither of them are happy with me talking to the other. Who shall I spend the evening with? Leia? It isn't long after we get a fire started that the sun begins to set. The night nice school and flames give off of glow that makes everything look so ethereal. Living in the city before, I can remember the last time I had seen something by firelight. Gurgle? 
The calm of night is immediately interrupted by a monster sound coming from under my shirt. Oh, right. Ah, oh, man, I haven't eaten anything all day. I glance over and luckily has to be busy reading to notice. Vanessa, however, is looking at me in disgust. Scythe. Since I doubt the ability of either of you to win a fight against the rabbit, I guess I better go hunt something for dinner. Vanessa turns toward Leia, expecting a response, but Leia has to incurs in her book to notice. With an eye roll, Vanessa picks up her great axe and heads towards the wood. Alright. Thanks, Vanessa. Say nothing. I'm just picking the top option. I sent a choke out a half hearted thanks, but Vanessa is gone before I can say anything. I slam down, slam down my guest drifting towards Leia, and I catch her staring at me. Hey, hey, she breaks eye contact and turns a deep shade of pink, quickly closing and hiding the book under her legs. Huh? I look away and pretend to tend to the fire. After a few minutes, when she thinks I'm not watching her anymore, she takes a small coat from her pocket and continue, continues scribbling in her book. What could she be doing that is so important? I stretch all day and walk nonchalantly in her direction. I plan to be heading into the woods to take a lake and sneak a glance at her notebook on the way. She's so focused on the page that she didn't even notice me getting closer. Now let's see what's... Eh? Glancing down, I see that both open are filled corner to the corner with drawings of me? Startled, Leia looks up to me, look up... Le Leia looks up at me to see, to see me staring. Ah! Leia waves her head and a transparent magic bear pops into existence around her. She slams the book cover close, but not before I notice the dancing lack of clothing adorning my many penciled bodies. What? I... I... I can explain. I'm in a recess with question, but all that managed to escape my mouth is... It's not that... Uh, it's not that large. Yeah, it's not that large. Why? Why are we having this dialogue? Yeah, am I might... What? Oh, there was multiple silence, that's why. Uh, uh... What I mean is... Leia holds her hood down over her tangerine hair and curls her body into tight ball. She grows a shimmering bear, muffling her voice. I'm sorry, you weren't, you weren't supposed to see that. It's okay, I guess I was a little surprised is all. It's just that I like to daydream sometimes, okay? People are usually mean to me, so I'm avoid them in real life. In fact, you're the first person in the world who hasn't called me a witch or a demon. Interesting. In my books... In my book, though, they can do anything that I don't want to them to. I'm just checking the drawing. Between her colorful outfit and small stature, I wonder how anyone could see her as dangerous monster. I sit down next to her, feeling the warm ground and soft grass between my fingers. Yes. That much get pretty lonely. So are you? So you're saying you're single? I mean, my jig is pretty scary. Uh, which one? This one. Even with the hood, I can see tears swelling in the corners of her eyes. I haven't found anyone that's even willing to hold my hand. Offer to hold her hand? Leia turns towards me, her eyes white, white with disbelief. I can see the slight fear behind her eyes, the shadow of chance that I may be lying and that she's setting her, herself up to be hurt yet again. Are, are you sure? I look in her eyes, green as the grass under her feet, and nod. A breeze rustles through the trees, dancing with a campfire its smell of pine and moss. I shift my hands closer to her, swinging the static hum of the magical energy coming from the barrier. Well, what is the altar? The default part of this game trying to cook. Hmm. The moment passes and a translucent and a translucent well disappears, the tingling feeling quickly replaced by the soft weight of her hand on mine. Oh, it's a CG. Her fingers are intertwined with mine like vines on a stone wall, perfectly fitting into space above my palm. Even though I can sense the night growing colder than shiver, the warmth of her hand on mine feels like a second campfire. Why? <laughs> Your fucking clothes is so casual, I hate it. Let's shift closer, leaning her hand on my shoulder, and I take her perfume. Mmm, smelly. We sit there for a long while, watching the embers slip off the flames like tiny shooting stars. Cool. I fall asleep to the scent of fresh strawberries and warm vanilla. What? Am I supposed to click? I think I'm supposed to click, but let me head my model so I can use this CG. Boom, there we go, we're gonna use this CG for something else later on. Thumbnail or something. Oh. 
Let me check the game page again, because I'm just curious. Mm hmm. Oh, there's multiple endings, which mean I don't know how many endings there are. All right, but there's two romanceable characters and dialogues that change depending on your choice. Okay, cool. Options menu. I don't know why, why the options menu are like. I mean, it does look good, so yeah. Our journey the next day passes with little to no problems, aside from concern agreeing with Leah and Vanessa. In the short burst of silence when they angrily ignore each other, I daydream about what my line of cave at the end of the map. I almost read it as coffee. Why are you both arguing? If it's called I'll buy some merchant ships and get into shipping. I'll become so rich and I'll have, never have to work again, much better than this job I used to have. The sun begins to set, but according to the map we are getting close, so we decide to walk through the night. Are you sure that's a good idea? By the time we find the entrance to the cave, the moon is just reaching the peak of its arc. Both Leia and Vanessa are in the midst of yelling at each other, but the fight quickly bears out when they see the description floating in the middle of the cave's opening. The map mirror breasts enter with their most trusted companion. We start the word in silence again sends the static feeling of the powerful magic coming off in the waste from the cave entrance. There is no doubt that this road needs to be followed. Leia and Vanessa turn into each other with a smug look and speak in perfect unison. Well, it looks like our journey ends here. Eh? What? You've got to be joking, that that cave is definitely full of monsters, what are you going to do, throw a book at them? I don't think you, you are too stupid to read, let me help you, it says most trusted companion. You're just, gonna, you're just gonna kill Rose as soon as, you, as soon as you get in the cave so that you can have the treasure all to yourself. Why are you both bickering so hard? You just think that's because no one has ever liked you enough to trust you. Oof. Let me teach you something, in the real world, honor trumps everything. A woman is nothing if not her word. I will never backstroke backstep Rose like that. Ooh, okay, anger expression. New. Really? Putting a honor above everything, above kindness, above empathy is the luxury of rich men and entitled bitches. You sold your way into our camp because of what? Killing a couple goblins? How do we know that you didn't set up the scenario yourself, huh? It was awfully convenient how you just arrived just in the nick of time to save us. How did, how did she command goblins? I mean, it could be. They are sentient. Oh, I skip something. Well, it doesn't matter anyways, because Rose is going to make the right decision and pick the person who can actually protect them. I agree, they're going to make the correct choice and pick the woman who actually cares about them. But when they turn their eyes towards me, I instantly feel like my face is getting microwaved. My man goes to the message in the, ca message in the cave. If I choose someone I don't trust and we walk in, do we just die? And what about the girls? The choice is obviously very important to him. Whoever I don't choose is sure to leave maybe forever. I choose... Quick save. Leia? I choose Leia. Yes! What? I can see if I need a chair racing for her ex, but Leia grabbed my hands and pulled me out of her range. Leia yanks me before the floating words like runners at the finish line, but not before taking one last chance to turn around and make a face at Vanessa. Love's raspberry. There. Leia starts to laugh and I find myself laughing with her as we both spin the dark, hearing our almost frantic joy echo off the walls. She lights in front of me, lighting my path with her bright giggles and strawberry aroma. I squares her hand and she tightens her grip on mine in response. I know then that I've definitely made the right choice. Do you? Do you? It's not long before we see an unsure little blunt illuminate a bend the cave tunnel. Come on, we're almost there. She lets go of my hand and dashes forward around the corner. Hold up. I feel a breeze come from my head, cooling a sweat in front of my shirt. When I run on the corner, I see a small room, an ocean blue portal on one side and white board on the other. What? Wait, what? A whiteboard? Isn't this supposed to be medieval world? Looking at the board, I see it's divided into two with Leia's name on one side and Vanessa's name on the other. Ah, how many people you can drag, huh? Very competitive. There are dozens of telling marks on both sides of the board. Leia's next to the board, holding a dry eraser marker and bouncing with excitement. Leia, what? I step forward and immediately hit an invisible wall. What is this? I put my hands out and feel my elbow bumps against similar barriers flanking my sides. Leia, I think I've been trapped in some kind of transparent box. Leia! I my palms up and they touch a flat shimmering ceiling a few inches above my head. My sweat goes cold when I feel my hand being pushed lower and lower. Leia, Leia, Leia help! The box is getting smaller. Leia, help me! 
upon the invincible wall, but they might as well be steel. Suddenly, I hear footsteps echo behind me, and I turn to see Vanessa stomping towards me. Vanessa, help! Can you hear me? I'm trapped. She ignores me, walking just past my shrinking cage. When she arrives, last goes in the light. Ah, nice faces you all make there. A new winner has been crowded, and when you just listen to that crowd, ha ha! Boo -boo. She breathes out, emitting a cheering stadium. Woo -hoo. I'm trying to figure out what's going on when I feel the bear touch the top of my head. I slam down a little to accommodate a feel and feel a few bits of sweat run down my neck. Don't get too full, too full of yourself. You're lucky we we grab a spinal spinalus one this time. Oh, you know it's more than luck. I keep telling you time and time again, men don't want scary, powerful women. They want someone soft and shy with a cute face and nice tits. <laughs> wow, okay. I'm forced to one knee and then to two. My vision goes blurry as tears begin to blood ground under me. Each breath feels thin thinner than the last. Someone help! Help me, please. I don't want to die. You are the original. Look at it. The prey just happened to be more of a loser than usual. I just might... Adjust? What are you? I'll adjust my breast size, throw, in, throw on something a little skimpier, and I can guarantee the next one will be all over me. I agree to disagree. No hurry up and mark the bars already or we're gonna miss it. Miss what? I cry and manic up as much as I can and watch Vanessa snatch the marker from Leia. With a look as if she were stabbing herself with a dagger, she places the marker under her last code name and adds another tally. The board squeaks to the force she puts into it. The bear touched the back of my head and pushes my face between my knees, the front of the box pushing my hair down to my eyes. Every panic breath sends a cloud of dust and grit up my dribbling nose. Please let me let me go. I don't want to die. Please, please. I felt the bear touch the small of my back and a sob burst from my throat. I hear them talking, but a shrinking person prevents me from looking up. I'm a special part of this one. It's a call back to the magic box I used in the fireside scene. It's called dramatic or irony, not that, not that you know what that means. You've always made so much time with the, spectacle, with the spectacle of it. I don't know why you have to make a show out of it every time. With nowhere left to sing, I feel the pressure on my back increasing, a dual pain turning sharp like a slow knife. The pain crescendos into a crunch and my throat opens into a long scream. I can't feel my leg anymore. The pressure of my knees pulling, pushing into my upper body's crack one of my ribs and I feel something soft expand and pop within my torso. Mmm, delicious. So, are you both gonna tell me what's happening here? An unnaturally hot- Oh, wait, I just noticed- Hell yeah, those veins, that looks cool. That's a nice artistic decision, I think. Because I rarely see those. An unnaturally hot feeling spreads to my stomach like someone has poured warm water directly into a hole in my back. America's Lee find enough space to take a short breath and cough, sending a small chunk of dark red flesh flooding up my esophagus to split under the cave floor in front of me. How do you know the name of esophagus? The liquid around it almost reminds me of a cherry cough syrup. As my vision goes black, my forehead touches the cool cave floor. The last thing I hear is Leia's voice. Oh, here comes the big final. Here it comes. Bad and one. Ending one per two. Can you both explain to me why does this happen? What do you feel name or Selvaya? <laughs> no, that does not work. Is this a... Uh... Yeah, it's the same thing, right? Okay, so the ending one change. Good to know. So, like, it's it's not one of those meta games already. See, how about it? I mean, like, multiple repeat game. How about Vanessa? I choose Vanessa. A smile, a real genuine smile, searches across her face before he can, before she can cover it with a sneer. Yes, better luck next time, little Miss Perfect. Then let me see like this mother face to grab Vanessa hand and pull her down the path into inky darkness. Hey Vanessa, I'll protect you from whatever we find. She's definitely blushing. You sure about that? Oh yeah, I'm sure. We turn into corner and tunnel into room, yeah, whiteboard. Uh-huh, we already done this. 
I'm leaning to expand the with an when a sudden force knocks me flat on my face. Ah! Vanessa, watch out! There's an, there's an enemy here! The scent of honey fills my nostril and there's heavy breathing in my ear. I am right here, Han. I can get a good look at you like this, so... What? I help a strong hand grips my shoulder and flips me into my back. Oof. Vanessa sits down on my chest and presses her hand towards to my throat before anything to move. Oh my god, her ties are on my chest. Her ties are on my chest. I, I don't think you are supposed to be thinking that, but okay. Stop it, brain. <laughs> All right. I try to move my arms, but they are pinned under her knees. Vanessa, wh what are you doing? You like me, right? Yes, Vanessa, I like you so much. She closes her eyes and she's beaming. I'm glad. She bursts down on my throat with the heels of her hands and I feel my windpipe squeezing shut. Hmm? The only guy fell away I hear echo footsteps approaching. Someone save me. Ah, they were totally thinking about chasing me. Leia, help. Keep telling yourself that, bitch. I can't believe your tough mimi routine worked. Oh, honey, if you think that's my game, you're so far behind. Men don't want a tough mummy. Sure, they say they want a woman who kick can kick their ass. I mean, that makes their taste interesting, right? But if she's strong to the core, she's complete without them. No insecurities for her to man. A strong girl that really likes herself? What a waste of time. She kissed in my ear. But you helped me with my self-esteem so much, hon. I had no idea it was worth anything until you come along. Where are my manners? Anything thank you. She digs her palm to my throat harder and my head spins, brain calling for oxygen. I'm dimly aware of like standing by the whiteboard. Whatever, I'm marking down. Better no way your little dance is winning next time. Hmm. I heard the marker squeak down the whiteboard and stone shake in high pitch. My vision is blotted out by now, but I can feel Vanessa sh shaking around me. She's giggling to herself. Why are you thinking about that? It's the last thing I can register before my thugs, thugs are pulled away. Bad end 2. Oh, oh, I just realized their face change. And there's more ending now. Fascinating. Okay, so we go back a little bit to this moment. And let's see. Single? So you're saying you're single? Like us when pull her cloak even lower on her head, blushing so fiercely that the underside of the hood almost glows a faint red. I I haven't found anyone that's even willing to hold my hand. We can skip this. Say nothing? I sit by her for a while, watching the forest grow dark with the setting sun. Cool. Let's you hold my hand. Agree? I'll look into the last eye, green as the grass under our feet. I'm so nervous, my answer come out, comes almost as a whisper. Sh sure. Okay, we can skip this, right? And then what will happen here? Oh yeah? Same thing. How about Vanessa? Same thing as well. Okay, we're back at this moment. This time, let's refuse. I'm sorry, but I didn't really feel comfor comfortable with that. It's alright. She stands on the verge of tear. Her words are next words are quiet, almost sound behind the magical barrier. I know it was too good to be true. The sun sheds on a shiver. Even the hit from the campfire doesn't feel that warm anymore. Alright, interesting. Skip this. Quick save here. Hmm, not, not, nothing different. How about the other one? Nothing different as well. Interesting. Okay, this time let's pick all the under option. I could have done this without you. Lay breath first and she puts her cheeks out. Um, well, you just wait until you get hurt and need help again. When it falls and it gets really cold, who do you think is going to keep you warm? Hmm? Uh, I mean by creating a fire, who's going to conjure a flame to keep you warm when you get cold? Hmm? The what? Alright then, skip this. Should... Should I hear Vanessa to help us find it? That's new. Ah! Don't hire Vanessa? The teacher knows of your business. We'll be on our way. Oh, please. If you want to leave, you better take me with you. Nah, we can make it on our own. Her eye twitches. I expect Leia to say something, but she's silent as a rock beside me. I think it's a really good idea if I come with you. Not interested. As this, she lands forward and presses her hand to my cheek. Her voice is quiet as she looks me up and down. 
If you don't hire me, I'm worried something bad might happen. No luck, lady. She rests her hand on her hip and makes a quick sound. That's a shame. Ambrose needed to get a bit annoyance. I see her tone arm reach for her, her back, reach back for a great axe. I don't think twice. I break into the run and sprint into the forest. Shit. Behind me, two steps, two sets of footsteps pummel on the ground, crunching hard against the bracken. Leia, I, I left Leia behind. But I don't care about Leia. There's no time for that now. I've got to save my save my own ass, damn it. Panning hard, I skid to a halt in the forest clearing, dappled light cascading through the leaves. Interesting. Why I left? Hardly past the thing I veer to the left. I fell out in the path where I, when I feel my limbs go suddenly numb. Ah, but then the buzzing numbers reach my mouth and I can speak. Some kind of privacy spell? You scared them away, brute. I told you, you're way too demanding with them. You dumb whore. They eat the shit up. If anything, you turn them soft with your boring sweet girl act. You're just mess you're just mad because you know I had in the bag. Anyway, let's make this quick. I've heard it just a shooting sound until I feel a blinding searing pain crack through my head and the dappled lights of the forest bling out. You died. Interesting. That's not an Andy? Huh. Alright then. Right. Pushing towards the right, the rest of the trees. I'll outrun her. I'll outrun her. I'll outrun her. If I can just make it to town. As I fly or the cross the nettles, I feel snake in my feet. Ah, uh, no. I hurtle towards the ground, my foot cuff in a branch. Thonk. I fling out my hands and barely manage to break my fall. Crap. My palm stings like fire. Before I have to attempt to wrangle my foot free, someone yanks my hand behind my back. God, what a pain. If anything, here's one of mine. Leia. No way, it doesn't count till we make it to the cave. Fine, I guess you're right. Vanessa holds my wrist in place while Leia wraps her her tightly around my head and begins to twist. The last thing I noticed before the crack splits the air is how soft her skin is. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Wait, who twists? Oh. Oh, Leia did that. You died. Alright then. Pretty interesting. Okay, how about- Oh, okay. Okay, I'll hire you. Good, you have come to your sense. That was interesting. Anyway, find that away for, for later. Wait, I'm not sure this is a good idea. I can tell she's worth trusting. Touch, you didn't know anything about me. And I said to look to this place too. I'm just concerned about our quest. Listen, don't worry, there, there'll still be plenty of me to go around. Alright then. Skip. Spend time with Vanessa? Uh, back then we did spend time with Leia, right? So let's do that. And then say nothing. Suddenly I watch her leave, feeling that she will turn down any things I call her. Okay, and say nothing. Suddenly I watch her leave, feeling that she will turn down any things that I could offer her. As I'm done, I guess drifting towards Leia. Okay, skip. I mean, magic is pretty scary. A sub burst from under the hood. I can see her shaking within the translucent box. I haven't found anyone that even willing to hold my hand. Say nothing. Refuse. Ah, new options. What if Leia? We just die, alright then. Neither. Something is wrong with both of these two. What's with the creepy looks on their faces? I mean, yeah. <laughs> and why is funny so I demand that I hire her? I've got to get out of here. I choose. Suddenly a point behind them. Oh my god, the goblins are back! H huh? Well, they aren't stupid enough to turn around, my burst stuns them long enough for me to turn and sprint to the cave. The cold air of the cave helps ease my burning lungs, I can feel here two pairs of footsteps running behind me. You stupid bitch, you gave it away. What? I didn't do anything. If anything, your murderous tough girls stick tip, tip it off. A stumble... Tick it... sorry. Keep it off. I stumble across around the corner. Uh huh. Blue portal on one side and whiteboard on the other. By the time my mind registered the irregularity of modern whiteboard being in the middle of medieval world, I hear the echoes of Leia and Venice argument getting closer and closer. 
I can't believe you are stupid enough to fall for the look over there, Trick. You think after a thousand of years of hunting, you'd be less gullible? A thousand of years? Hey, you were standing there just as long as I was. If this break gets away, it'll be your fault. Iron towards the portal and stop the say of, of its shifting face. Leon finds the service to enter into the room and Leon switches to a soft voice almost on the first of tears. Please don't leave, we can explain if you just... She's interrupted by Vanessa pushing her aside to throw her battle axe at me. Oh, holy shit. In the end of situation, I miraculously dug out of the way of the weapon as it finished its arc by burying its blade into stone by my head. You stupid fuck, you just ruined any chance we had of convincing it to say wait to say it. Alright then. It was our last chance. If we hadn't been in the way, it would be over by now. At this point, I've heard enough. It's obvious I'm not safe here. I stare at the front of the portal from here. It looks an aerial view of an ocean, moonlight sparkling off its surface. Don't you dare go in there. Step away from that now. Step into the portal. I step into the portal, feeling like a bucket of cold water was poured into fire my body. Behind her, I heard two primal human human scream fade as I slip into comforting darkness. I don't know where I'm going, but it's got to be better than this, right? Right? I don't know. We'll see. Secret end. Huh. There's the funnest uh, thing. So yeah, we'll we'll do that, shall we? Secret end. How is that secret? I don't know. This, did something change? I, I, I'm I'm pretty sure right? there's nothing changing. Right. Okay, let's spend time with Vanessa this time. I head over to the table that Vanessa is leaning on. She's already poured a soft tank out of ale and is lifting an iron weight with one hand. Damn. When I fall into the city, across from her, I hear a step hurrying past me. Leia, where where are you off to? Oh. I have um, got a lot of spells to practice before tomorrow. Whatever lies in store, I'm going to give a save, I promise. Thank her. Hey, Leia, thanks. I see how hard you've been working. She nods fervently and bobs away towards her tan. I think I catch her smiling, but I'm not sure. So no choice for you, huh? I think you make yourself useful around camp since you're, you're no help out there. You know, you talk so much, it almost sounds like you're compensating for something. Damn. What, are you secretly afraid I'm stronger than you? She leans her chin on her hand. Oh, oh you want to go? She swings her other elbow under the double with a thong, sending her tankard of ale rattling. Let's test it. Arm wrestle with me right now. You miss 100% of shots you don't take, right? Well, yeah. Sure, you're on. I think her wraps around her and she gives them a light squeeze. This close, she smells a little musky like honey. <laughs> I've got to shake my head to clear the buzzing. One, one, two, three. I have my weight into it, falling myself or vision of Vanessa wailing and admitting with my sheer excellence. She gains some ground and bends my hand closer to the table, her skin rosy and her eyes very with concentration, still I manage to hold her there. And then, out of the corner of my eyes, I notice it. The weight fabric around her chest is starting to slip down, and if it slides any further, I'll be able to see- <laughs> What? Why? Oh shit. Before I knew it, she's slamming my hand into the wooden boards. Ha! Huh, it's my win. What do you think now, dumbass? I think your shirt looks better this way. I think your shirt is coming off. What? What? Why? Huh? She goes down and her cheeks go scarlet. You. She takes the fabric uppers and pulls it tight to scare it. I'm doubled over, wheezing with laughter. I had a feeling you were a little pervert. I'm just saying it. It's a good look. I bet you take down more enemies like that. What? I'll take you down if you don't shut up. Anyway, I still beat you fair and square. You know, you you know, main character. Sometimes I just don't want to save you, but. <laughs> hmm. Oh, you're just going to call it after one competition? I check my thumb at her tankard of ale and shrug. I was going to bet that I could check one of these faster than you. But if you're already if you're ready to give up. No. She's already searching ale into the, another tankard, clearly not caring how many drops splatter the table. In fact, how about this? Whoever wins get to dare to desert to do anything. This girl is a genius. You're on. One, two. Little does she know I've got a game plan. Three. I know it's so great. No. <laughs> About this secret checking technique, the vortex. If I swirl my drink into weird pull and tip back, tip back my head, I shall be able to. Done. 
The sound of my tank card on wood splits the air. What? Why are you reading Reddit? Why? Gra? She sent her down mom's later and glanced at me, wiping her mouth with her hand. Ha, huh, I knew years of scarring farms from the sinkhole in my bed for and wasted. It, it sure does. So, what do you think now? Hmm? Touch, like I even care. Sunny of her tone makes me pause for a moment. She's always deflecting, always has, wa always has, has walls up. Hey, Vanessa. Why do you want to be the best at everything? Huh? The hell are you talking about? Oh man, this might get me killed, but I have to try. I'm serious, I mean, you already get killed so many times already. What are you so afraid of? Say it again and I'll cut your tongue out. For a second, I wonder if she really will kill me. She really will. Finally setting her knife down, she huffs out of breath. I don't want to be the best at everything. I just have to. Who says you have to? Well, it's not like anyone out there is going to look out for me, is it? I mean, it's not like I want that. It's foolish to... Vanessa, listen to me. I'm going to protect the people I care about. I'm going to protect you. You... And how are you going to do that? You couldn't even... I'll figure it out. What about the other one? I'm just gonna go with this. I think you deserve to be taken care of for once. She looks aside and her voice is soft, soft when she speaks. Okay. She glances up at me. Weren't you supposed to give me a dare? Alright. I look at her, her eye and she doesn't look away. She's since smirking at me now. I dare you to kiss me. I dare you to carry my backpack tomorrow. You can have you can have me do anything and you want me to carry your backpack? Yeah. What can I say? I know what I want. Uh sure, I'll carry your backpack. Enjoy your sweet sweet victory. Time for me to catch up. Catch us some actual dinner. Don't let the fire burn down the camel, right? I listened to her boot crunching after the other burst, glancing down at the hand that had been cast so tightly in hers. Interesting. That doesn't get us the CG, so... I dare you to kiss me. Really, just a kiss? Knowing you're one-track man, I think you'd be daring me to take my top off. I mean, if you really feel like it. <laughs> what? Keep dreaming. So, you want me to kiss you? Hey, there's no shame if you don't, just don't know how. Ah, uh, screw you. Alright, she pushes time to hide my character model. There we go. She pushes her lips against mine and the musky honey scent gets stronger around me. Holding machine, she tilts her head to get a better angle. For a second, I'm cough of guard. Her mouth is so hot on mine. When she licks at my bottom lip, I shudder without meaning to. But her tongue is pressing into my mouth now, so I barely care. I find myself wanting to reach up and nestle a hand on their, her hair to feel if it's as soft as looks. Somehow I didn't expect her to kiss me this desperately, as though she died if I pull away. Alright, interesting. Quick save. Is, is, is there nothing we can be doing here? No? Alright then. Secret end. Hmm. Let me check for a little bit, and if I don't discover anything else, I will end the game right here. Okay, so I'm not able to discover anything else that I can find in the game that is like a secret or something. But well, okay, let's discuss the game. So the story itself is an interesting uh, what do you call it? Counter narrative? I don't know. Yeah, something like that. Uh, not counter narrative. Uh. And an an interesting narrative, especially talking about the usual trope of harem anime MC who goes to like, ooh, beautiful world, I'm gonna be the harem MC. It's an interesting twist to it with the thing going on, especially yeah, <laughs> I, I just, I just can't, can't kind of love it, like the par parody, yeah, the, the word of it, the parody, the uh, the what do you call it, the self-awareness of stuff here and there Th that's kind of interesting i kind of love it but let's see the character also interesting in a way like their design is supposed to like attract and allure people to then kill them which is just cool and i love the willingness to make them look terrifying sometimes which is also great oh well, let's see uh, let's see what else I could say. Honestly, not. Honestly, mm, I feel like 
uh, it could have been shortened. No, honestly, I feel like it could have been a little bit more explained there and there. I feel I feel like it could have been fleshed out more because I I feel like I want to explore more of this game. Obviously, if that's the wording for it. But I guess that's all for a totally normal isekai. The time I got transported into totally normal isekai. I hope you enjoy it. See you later in my next video. Bye bye, YouTube. Vanessa, Leia, 